Patrick Cook here. Well, thanks for joining me in the next session. This is session eight of our Mandelbulb 3D tutorial series where we're actually constructing a full uh, Mandelbulb animation. Now, in the last uh, session, uh, session number seven, uh, we were talking about um, the various formulas uh, as we assigned them to the various uh, formula slots. So what we have right now is we have uh, formula slot number one has got the amazing box. Formula slot number three has got the A box very scale. Uh, formula slot number three has the amazing box again. And uh, the reason I did that is because we're actually going to alternate, because we're in the alternate uh, mode here, we're going to be alternating between the amazing box, which has uh, one iteration count, okay, that'll be a little important, important a little later, uh, we, and alternating between the amazing box, the A box, various scale, and another ama uh, amazing box. Each of these has an iteration count of one. Okay, so that's what we, we did in the last session. What we should do now is we should be saving our project. Um, now, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's advisable to save often uh, to, because the Mandelbulb 3D software does have a, um, it does crash occasionally. Now, what's interesting is when it crashes, it doesn't tell you why it crashed, all right? It just, poof, goes away. There is no, I've never seen, anyway, I've never seen a dialog box that came up and said, uh, there's an error, uh, uh, code uh, F329628 uh, has caused a, a, a memory full exception, whatever. I have never actually seen an error message come up. What I see is that the application just goes away. So the, the way to deal with that is to save often. Uh, this application, when it uh, crashes, it does not call home. I am not aware of any uh, crash log that it keeps. Uh, you have no way of knowing why it crashed or who did it or what. You just have to kind of pick up your pieces and move on. So one way to deal with this is to save often. Uh, there is a way to be able to recover uh, your work from a historical um, uh, kind of an like auto save. I'll show you that at some point. But right now, what we should do is to talk about the process of saving your files. All right, now, uh, the first thing we need to do is come over to Preferences here and call up the Any Directories. Now, this is, um, this is, uh, this is a key window here, all right? Now, what this does is it allows you to establish default directories. Um, for the various uh, uh, functionality concerning the Mandelbulb 3D software. Uh, here we have full M3i image files. Now currently I have it pointing to a particular folder within, with, on my system that I call Mandelbulb work. That's the default. That's the default location when I save an M3i image file. When I save an M3p parameter file, it will go to that same folder. When I save a bitmap, a JPEG, a PNG, it will go to that same folder. All right, and you see here that it's also, when I save an animation, that folder. All right, that folder shows up again. Now, down in here, these are the actually programmed. This is where you, uh, you placed uh, the Mandelbulb 3D software. I can't say installed 
because the Mandelbald 3D software does not have a Windows installer or a Mac installer for that matter. You, uh, you download the files, you unzip the package, and you literally copy it to wherever you want it to be on your PC. Uh, it does not have an installer. So that's why we have literal hard paths here to where I placed uh, the, um, the Mandelbulb uh, executable program files, and I put it in uh, on this, my C drive in this location. That's because that's where I chose to put it. Um, I did not put it into the program files. Let me show you here. All right, so if I, uh, if I go to my C drive right here, uh, in a Windows environment, you'll have your files, uh, your program files, your Windows program applications will be installed in these environments here. I did not do that because the Mandelbulb, you can't, in, window, in a Windows environment, you can't just uh, plop any old thing into the program files. This is where Windows uh, expects to be able to install and manage Windows applications. What I did is I put it into a folder that I named this on my C drive. All right, it's just a just a little little something here. All right, uh, not a good idea to uh, locate your Mandelbulb 3D executable files, your application files, into the program files or the program files x86 of Windows. Not a good idea. Okay. So uh, anyway, that was just a little uh, little side point. So my my any files here, my any directories, my uh, I am going to be changing this because uh, for my tutorial, for the tutorial purposes, we we want to put it somewhere where we can find it. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to go to uh, say the video folder, just really. Kind of a just it, it doesn't have to be here but it's just a place to put it and if you're in a windows environment you most certainly have a, a predefined video uh, directory i'm going to call this i'm going to keep it simple i'm going to call it mandel bulb 3d tutorial oh, tutorial okay i'm just okay so there we go so now, so what I want to do is I want to uh, point all of these custom folders to what I just created. All right, the folder I just created. So let's do that. So let's navigate out to the video uh, there. All right, and I'll open. So there we go. So there's my... Uh, now I've created a default location that the Mandelbulb software will automatically navigate to that folder when I go to, in this case, um, save a full 3M3I image file. Well, I'm going to want that for all of them. So what I just did here is I highlighted, I did a control C, I'm in Windows. Here, highlight it, control V for paste, control V, control V, control V, good. I want all of my work files to go to this folder by default. I don't have to accept that when I actually go uh, save a file, but I want that as my default. So that's my any, uh, any directories that that's set up. Now we're gonna we're gonna stop here, but I just want to show you something. So when I go to save to the an M3I, I'm gonna explain what an M3I and an M3P is in the next session. If I go here, you'll notice here that it's automatically positioned me in the folder 
that I had to find in the in the any uh, prefs any directories. Okay. All right. We're going to stop here. Uh, I'll see you in the next session, and where we're going to talk about saving your files. Uh, you can save them as parameter files. You can save them as image files. It's not too bad. All right, so I'll see you in the next session.